What up everyone? Hope you're all having a great day. Mary and I are currently at the airport in New York City. We just flew here and we're actually not stopping here. We're making our way to Lisbon, Portugal. And we're on a very exciting trip. I, like, oh, I just want to tell you. Secret. I really want to tell you guys, but I can't right now. You'll know once we get there what's happening. But we were on the airplane and we had this thought. We share so much information with you guys, but there's one thing that we never really go deep into uh, kind of providing you information on is what we travel with because we're constantly on the go we constantly have to pack our bags and have all this gear with us but what is our go-to gear what is it what is it that we're putting in our bags and traveling with constantly so before I share all that information for this guy shares all that information with you guys always you know what time it is it's b-roll time Yo, how are you liking it? I'm loving it, man. <laughs> you go to bed now. I know, Six right? Hours. You finally get to relax and sleep. Yeah. We're gonna oh. be editing all day, though. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be no, no sleeping, right? We didn't work. Oh, man. I'm just looking at my feet and I'm already losing my mind. So much stuff to do. I wanted to do a really big reveal, but I kind of gave it away when we got to the airport. We're here with Lamborghini in Praia del Rey at the Marriott in Portugal. It's going to be about like three or four days that we're here. It's in and out, so we got to make the most of this experience. And that's why me and Mario want to talk to you guys about the gear we're using. But I also want to talk to you guys about this incredible car that Lamborghini designed. This is the Urus. This is their very first supercar SUV. It's, I think, the world's very first supercar SUV. It has 650 horsepower. The engine just turned on. I don't know if you guys got that. Yeah, so these vehicles have a V8 engine. They're incredibly well designed and there's so many options for us to select from in terms of color. I think there's about five. We're surrounded by Lamborghinis right now. There's 14 of them. This is the Urus. We're in Portugal. It's going down, guys. Let's get it. Yeah, enjoying a nice little espresso before I dive straight into this with you guys. I got my bag right here. This thing weighs a ton. Uh, this is the Think Tank Streetwalker, the volume one. I remember when I showed this to Peter, he just right away went and, and bought it, but he bought the volume two, which has a little bit more updated features in terms of pouching and the stitching. But to be honest with you, this thing is, is awesome. Like I, I've been using this bag for a very long time and it's, it, ha it holds all the things that I need it to hold and it makes traveling a lot easier. It has a nice side pouch right here for my laptop and then it has two side pouches right here including water bottle space. And what I usually do is I put actually my Gorilla Pod in one of these and it holds in place very safely and securely. If you open it up, Hat, but it has a lot of space and I usually put all my lenses here now because I brought my 24 to 70 um, it took up a lot of space but usually I have another compartment here so I can put two lenses here and I usually have my my drone here most typically the Mavic Air if it's really well in this compartment here but right now it's just a whole bunch of little gears and techs and then the 1DX or the 5D Mark III bodies they always go in that top pouch and in the front of the inside rim here you get uh, space to put your passport your business cards which is very important always carry those with you your money your international driver's license because I drive around a lot and work for different car companies so that's the bag and in terms of what's inside the bag the first thing I want to talk about is the camera body I'm traveling right now with the 1DX Mark II and on that Maori is shooting with the 24 to 70 millimeter it's a 2.8 great lens very versatile 
and on it we also have a variable ND filter which is also very important if you're shooting uh, video content and you're going in and outdoors and right now in Portugal it's extremely sunny so we're always switching it up and then on top of it he has a Rode mic he has the Rode mic Pro Plus on it which is probably my favorite mic so far it's very easy to to use because it turns off and on when you turn on your camera body so it's very efficient and then in here I have my memory cards CFast uh, SD cards uh, mini SDs for my GoPro my drone it's water sealed so it's extremely durable and I know that if something happens I don't lose a lot of expensive stuff and then in terms of lenses, I brought this 70 to 200. And, uh, this is the Mark II. It's a 2.8, great lens. Since we're shooting cars, this we need with us, especially if we're gonna do video um, and distant shots. The other lens I brought with me is the 85 millimeter. This is the 1.2 Mark II. I love, 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 love this lens. It's great for portraits, but it's also really good for car shots. I find that the depth of field that you get with this when you're shooting vehicle photos, it's just, it, it really allows you to make the, the, the vehicle pop it's so much more than any other lenses. And it is mainly because of the aperture, but also just because of that, that distance that you have to keep away from the subject. This pouch here, but I have a, a duster, I have my cloths, and I also have this like brush here. Batteries for the 1DX and the charger. Look at how big this is. This is what I'm talking about. This is ridiculously big. Like, it's just so much space. Uh, but it does fit really well in this little compartment here. The wire for it. And then I have my GoPro. I usually have a GoPro actual bag um, and I put it in my check-in suitcase but this time I, I decided not to do that just bring it with me all in one, one bag. So I have the GoPro 7. This is the black version. We're here right now on the coast of Portugal. We're gonna potentially go in the water. This is coming with me. We're gonna be driving the car. I'm gonna mount it on top of the car. It's, gonna, it's, it's something that you can really place in different areas that you know traditional DSLR or your cinema camera might not be able to get into. And then I, I also brought with me its pouch. Um, that comes with it and inside is just a bunch of wires and mounts and whatnot. Two things I actually recently bought that have really changed my life and I think that you guys should definitely invest in are these things. So this one is a multi-port for USBs. This thing is a power bank that allows you to charge all your USB devices. And this thing is so good because I, I mean, I can charge my phone, I could charge my road mic, I could charge my GoPro, I can charge a whole variety of different things. And I did show you guys this before, but this is, is my Gorillapod. I use this for vlogging, as you can imagine. Also to put places and take pictures as a tripod. And typically, uh, one last thing I usually bring with me is my, is my tripod. Um, this is just a photo pro traditional tripod but I've been using this thing for the last four years and it works completely great at times when Maori doesn't want to bring his video tripod uh, we just bring this and he just holds a cinema camera steady just to make sure it doesn't fall over other than that that's typically what I travel with and then I also have a bunch of drones that I bring with me from time to time if Maori's with me or if someone with me has a, a a drone I typically stay away from bringing mine just because it's easier to travel with less gear. For this project uh, with Lamborghini we're shooting a car so I try to bring a variety of zoom lenses and wider lenses and lenses that have a great variety of aperture and something I can vlog with like the 2470 um, and something I can take portraits and really cool detail shots with like an 85. You ready so, to show these guys? I'm gonna show you my bag. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. Usually I try to pack like the less possible because you know we always like up and down and whatnot. My main camera is this guy right here. Sony FS7 cinema camera 10 bit. I have around four or five of these cards, 128 gig. If we're shooting 4K, you can record up to like 40 minutes or something like that. But like most of the times, I mean it depends, sometimes we do 4K, sometimes we do 1080, 
So this is the best body because literally it lasts all day long. All day. And the best thing is like you can charge your phone, you can charge anything else, your GoPro or whatever you want because it has a USB thing here. What else do I have here? Well, I mean, I usually try to bring like a few lenses, you know. So Alan owns a bunch of lenses, I own a bunch of lenses. So what we do is like, we just like, he just calls me the day before, hey, what are we doing? We're going shoot for Lamborghini. So we decide what lenses each one of us is bringing. This is just uh, actually another 2470. And this is the lens I, brought, I bought in Hong Kong, the Sigma Art uh, 14mm 1.8. I'm really happy with this lens. First reason, because I saved like $400 buying in Hong Kong. cha -ching. Yeah. And the second is because like the line Sigma R, they're like really sharp and really fast lens. Show that lens. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this. The only, the only downside of this is that you cannot put an ND filter on top. That's the only downside. But it's okay because you shoot. Your camera has built-in NDs. Yeah. When I'm using the Sony FS7, I have the built-in NDs. So I don't need ND for this. Exactly. The cinema cameras, majority of them, they have super 35 uh, sensor. So it's not full frame. This lens is full frame. This is not full frame. So what happens is there's a crop. So I'm not getting actually 14 millimeters using this camera. I'm getting 20 something. Anyways, beautiful lens. Really happy with this LCD uh, viewfinder. I never use it, but sometimes when it's very, very sunny out, like for example, today is very, very sunny. I would need this in order to see. So this camera, one of the things that I love the most is the shape of it. When this handle goes right here, it's actually really, really comfortable to carry. XLR cables, you know. Of course, when we're vlogging, sometimes we vlog with the FS7 and I, sh I use my mic, this one right here. Pretty decent road mic. And then I have XLR cables in case we want to record like a voiceover or something. These are and the filters. Just some more ND filters in case we need them, you know. This is another thing that we actually use when we were in New York. It saved my life, this thing. Yeah. It saved our lives. Because, like, it was raining like crazy that day. And basically, ta -da, you just, like, cover your camera. It's like a uh, cover for your camera. Yeah. Plastic rain, rain jacket for your... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's called, but it's very, very useful. Totally recommend that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I have this thing here that I don't know. Yeah, sometimes we use it. Um, it's just like a little light. Maybe sometimes, like if it's like nighttime and you need a little bit of like some sort of like spotlight for whatever reason, or you like doing a product shot or something, it's very useful. So the brand is uh, Low Pro. It's a really good brand. I, I totally recommend you guys to check it out. Like if you go online, you're gonna see they have so. Many. This is a pretty old model because I bought it like a few years ago. They're pretty expensive. But they're worth it. Oh. Show them the Ronin. So this is the latest thing I bought. We've been using it for a few shoots and whatnot, but I finally decided to buy it. So this is the, the Ronin S. The Ronin S, you know. Some of you already tried. There you go. Brand new, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new Ronin. But definitely, we got this just because of this guy. So we can get like very stable shots of us walking or for example in this shoot we're gonna be shooting a car so if we're shooting a car from another car you want to have stabilization especially in Portugal the roads are like dun, dun, dun. bumpy like so this is gonna be great for that more bags more bags oh so, dude that's the yacht getaways bag that's from <laughs> our trip to Croatia that was a nice nice trip. That oh was a really, we need to do that man. again just Mavic Air like I really love this drone just because the size of it is it's just tiny. I know the Mavic 2 has like the Hasselblad camera and shoots like 10 bit and it's amazing. But this is so tiny, it's so convenient. You just don't need anything else. That's pretty much everything I bring. And That's yes, how we make the magic. That's how we make the magic. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, 
Mary and I just finished uh, doing a scene by the water up there and uh, <laughs> I was facing towards the land and uh, a massive wave hit us and his, uh, his new lens got pretty soaked. So we're gonna go back to the hotel now and clean that up. But this place is absolutely cool. Like, look at this. How awesome is this? Crazy. <laughs> So we've been driving around and testing out the Eurus for the past about six hours or so and we have still a lot of time left with the car which I'm really sad. I don't want to let it go. It's so incredible. Now what I really enjoy about this car is the program options that it has in terms of driving style. So we've been testing it out on the terrain which is one of the options called Terra. I've been putting it in sport mode and really giving it in terms of the gas and trying to see you know how it works in terms of stability and functionality when it's going at high speeds and the car is very smooth and performance wise it's, it's been absolute perfection and it's aggressive it still has that anger and that, that that beauty that Lamborghini typically has with its designs so we're kind of making our way through the coast going up to Nazare which is where the highest waves ever historically recorded are and where some of the surfers around the world have kept records uh, in terms of location for surfing. There we're gonna do some shots of the car. We have two cars with, uh, we have actually three cars, three Lamborghinis, two of them are white, one's in front and one's in the back. We have a professional race car driver in the front. Amazing dude, he's really showing us how to properly utilize this car and show off its performance. We are going to get another surprise. I feel like every part of this experience has been a really interesting little surprise that Lamborghini set up for us. I'm imagining we're going to be taking these vehicles and doing some drifting. So guys, we are at Nazare. This is that place I was talking to you guys about where the surfers come and they surf the biggest waves in the world. And that is the lookout point right there where they usually stand and watch the surfers as they take on the greatest challenge of all, and that is surviving. Thank you, mate. Crack, mate. Just to think that very famous photo, which I think someone took from that hill up there, this way. The wave is just like massive. This place is incredible. Could you actually imagine surfing this? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. What? This is insane. Oh man. So you know what's funny? I used to watch on like when I was younger with my dad just like surf channels and I always used to tell him I was like I don't think I can find someone who's as brave as someone who can surf something like this and just like walk away and being like I'm gonna do it again you know it's like if you accomplish it once you think that just like that's it you did it good job but to do it over and over again I mean that is pure dedication I think that's absolutely remarkable what you're doing is like it's crazy you're probably inspiring so many people around the world and now you're, I mean, officially with Lamborghini as well. So this is going to help you move a lot faster, I guess, right? Yeah, I, <laughs> I hope, yeah. I, I asked for something, uh, something new. Maybe we're going to uh, make together the, 
the surfboard of the future. Oh, nice. I never know with Lamborghini, everything sure. is possible. And uh, as a Euros car, you know, it's a beautiful car. And uh, the concept is that one. Uh, everything is possible. And uh, of course, uh, some people inspire me to, to be here to, to test definitely my, uh, my limit here. And uh, that place is crazy. How does it feel to be here again, like in this environment, knowing very well that, like, in a couple. I mean, when's the next time you're actually going to surf, actually? That's a good question. Yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I surfed here uh, just a few days ago. A few days ago? Yes. Okay. And, <laughs> Not uh, even that long ago, just a few days ago. Yeah, t today, for example, if it was uh, better, uh, I was in the water early in the morning, but uh, this morning a friend of mine said, yeah, we're yeah, not going no. to win. I said, okay, I'm pro surf for the next time. Uh, but yet yeah, now the, the, the season is uh, going to end, um, so we are already uh, training for the next season. Okay. It will be uh, October, next October, I see. and uh, November is the best best month here. I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with because this is this is going to yeah. be this something is, uh, amazing. Nice. Like, look at this. Yeah, nice project. How beautiful the design is. Get it, get it, board. Yeah, of course, yeah. Get it, jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going in, guys. This is my cue to exit. <laughs> it's heavy, actually. Yeah, need need a weight for for riding the giant oh, waves. I have to explain this to you guys. He's not just surfing. Like we're not talking about like one or two meters. We're talking about like 18 to 20 meter waves. Like the size of that, the impact, the the strength, the. In, Power, like you have to be training constantly and developing that talent and that's that's something that takes dedication so good job man thank you thank you Keep for inspiring your visit. the world buddy oh all right dude it's so windy it is so windy yes I'm struggling I'm struggling as well <laughs> my hair is struggling the most yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned so much about race car driving because this guy's a professional race car driver and I've also learned a lot about this new Lamborghini, the, the Urus. Yes. Now, you tell me a little bit about the Urus because you know this car way better than I do. This is the first super SUV. This is not the SUV, this is the S SUV. So basically, being this a Lamborghini, it couldn't you know, be any different. The performance of this car is just astonishing. Uh, having 650 horsepower, uh, it goes from 0 to 100 in 3.6, which is Oof. the best of category. 0 to 100 in 3.6. 3.6. Yes, that's right. Then top speed with uh, over 300 kilometers, 305 wow. to be precise. For an SUV. Yeah, and We then, have to remember, this is always an SUV. This is always an SUV, <laughs> a 2.2 ton SUV. And, wow. and then the, the best of all is the braking, you know, uh, from 100 to 0 in uh, actually 33.6 meters and this if you think about it is impressive because the previous generation of supercars of Lamborghini would stop actually uh, in a bigger distance so um, the old Gallardo needs more space than than actually this car and this is what it re what really you know blows your mind when you drive it for the first time the difference between this car and the other SUVs is you don't need time to learn to drive this car yes. it is so easy you're right it literally you gave me the keys you're like this is the start and that's it go for it exactly look cool. two more of them two more of them yeah <laughs> hello guys I, I, i'm curious to know what the people in this town are probably thinking they're like why are we uh surrounded by lamborghinis all of a sudden i mean they can't complain because i'm definitely not complaining and i know milo she's definitely not complaining no no i'm not you know i i'm a racing driver the circuit is my habitat yeah but i i love i love doing this work because you know driving these cars is just uh it's just beautiful he's he said it better than i could ever say it so there you have it guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to come home. I go home. Ciao ragazzi! Ciao. See you soon. See you soon, guys. It's been absolutely incredible. Oh man, I'm gonna miss Portugal. 
I'm not gonna miss this wind. It is freezing here. But I'm gonna miss this car a lot. It's such an incredible experience being here. I learned a lot about the Urus. I learned a lot about the Lamborghini family. And I can't wait for my next project with them. So stay tuned. Like always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys all soon. Peace!